Yo guys, so I thought I would make a quick video explaining every glitch used by speedrunners in the Ender% for Subnautica. This is also a tutorial for these glitches, but keep in mind that some of the glitches is patched in the newest patch, so all of these work on the, the 2018 patch that speedrunners use, but only some work on the newest patch. We're gonna start with number one, uh, this is more of a useful feature in the game rather than just a glitch. It's gonna be binding the left and right click to scroll wheel. What this will do is every time you break a rock or remove items, uh, you'll be able to do it a lot faster as scroll will give us more inputs. Uh, item removing with scroll wheel does not work on the latest patch, but all other inputs like breaking a rock or something uh, works. The second on the list will be gold storage or flare storage. This glitch will make it so that you can go anywhere on the map and access your storage remotely uh, from the PDA. So this works with lifeful storage by clicking the storage and exiting right away. Uh, or you can do it with uh, lockers by uh, using a flare and uh, uh, trying to open the locker right away. So the locker doesn't actually open, but the uh, flare animation skips it. So the next time you open your PDA, you'll have your inventory. Uh, but this is only a one use only thing, so uh, it goes away after the first PDA open. Third on the list is going to be Super C Glide, uh, also called for SSG uh, for short. This glitch uh, makes the C Glide work a lot faster as it combines many different speeds in one, confusing the game thinking you're swimming and walking at the same time, for example. Uh, this works by flooding a base while you're in it or updating a flooded base by, for example, deconstructing and reconstructing. The hatch. SSG goes away if you leave uh, the water. Number four is going to be despawning wrecks. Uh, you can despawn a wreck by building a base inside of it, like for example a normal compartment. Number five will be the Aurora skip. This is just more of like a trick as you make your way behind some sketchy hitboxes next to the Aurora to the underside of the captain's quarters hallway. Uh, using SSG will boost you upwards, clipping yourself from the water into the hallway. Then you can make your way in, inside of the captain's quarters uh, by using the code. This does not work on the newest patch. I think there's another setup for it. I don't know it, but maybe you can ask someone in Discord. Number six on the list is going to be fish skip. This glitch is used in 100% for picking up tablets and blueprints in data boxes without watching the long animation with it. It works by dropping a fish then right after picking up the tablet. Afterwards you can switch right back to the sea glide and continue with the run. Number 7 is going to be the mobile vehicle bay clip, also known as the MVB clip. This glitch abuses the collision of the MVB and terrain, making it so the MVB uh, deploys inside of the terrain and out of bounds. We have multiple setups for it and in different locations in the route to line up with the uh, MVB and climbing it. Uh, this does not work in the news patch unfortunately. Number 8 on the list is going to be Cure Clip. Uh, this is just another clip to get out of bounds by using the uh, Cure Ball that the uh, Sea Emperor Juveniles drop in after curing. So uh, you can also do something called Screenshot Clip. Uh, basically uh, spamming screenshot, the screenshot button makes it so the game will lag and you'll clip through the wall. Uh, this does not work in Super C LED because of some collision glitch, but yeah. Number 9 is going to be the O2 death skip or gun skip or whatever you call it. Uh, this is one of the most difficult glitches, uh, only used in the any percent as I know. Uh, so uh, this skips the gun animation when you uh, deactivate the uh, QVP gun by lining up a specific lineup and taking off your O2 tank while you're at zero oxygen. So basically you drown in the middle of the cutscene. The last one on the list is uh, the dupe base glitch. Uh, this one basically works by making a base and glitching it in a certain way so that the next time you'll uh, craft a moon pool or for example a nuclear reactor or 
uh, observatory to get stalker glass uh, you'll be able to deconstruct and reconstruct and get infinite amounts of that compartment so uh, you can do that to get infinite resources I think this is uh, patched in the newest update so thanks for watching guys uh, I'll be linking some more videos uh, down in the description for more Subnautica tutorials I was going to be doing a commentary on the world record anytime soon now, so look forward for that, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye.